Hello, how's everybody doing today, boys and girls? Today, I want to show you something called an Easter dinosaur. I'm sure you've never heard of it because I kind of made it up, but I thought it would be fun for the season. So here's what I have today, okay? I have an Easter colored shirt on. <laughs> I have paints. Thank you, Maddo, for letting me borrow your paints. I have one jar of water. It doesn't have to be a jar. It can be a cup. Um, whatever works out that you don't want to break it or use something that's important to your mom and dad. Um, I also have two brushes today. The two brushes I have are um, a regular one that's for painting. I'm not using the one that comes with the set. I'm getting another one that's just a tiny bit better and not a big deal, um, but it seems to help me a little bit when I'm painting. If that works with someone who's an adult who's helping you with your supplies. And then I'm also going to show you this flat one. These blue brushes, you can get some that are... Oops, that's not a blue brush. Be it hold. You can get some that are pointy and some that are flat. You can get them on the same set in Amazon, or you can go to any drugstore or um, like a hobby kind of place or Michael's or um, Joann's or Hobby Lobby's. Um, wherever you want, you can find brushes and don't get real expensive ones. You don't need um, any that are more than a couple bucks, okay? So there's the deal. And then I'm also bringing a piece of paper towel. This one I've already used with painting and it dried off, so I'm just going to use it again. Why not? So what is an Easter dinosaur? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> If you have a coloring book with a dinosaur, or if you have anything, you know, you could ask your um, parents or grandparents or friends if somebody's got a printer at home, because you could even save this and then print it if you wanted to. Um, but any animal in any coloring book, you can turn into an Easter animal. It could be a puppy, it could be a cat, it could be an alligator, it could be a moose, any animal. And I chose the dinosaur because I like dinosaurs. Um, by the way, Daniel, your grandma told me that you might be painting with us if you hear this. And she told me you love soccer, so we might have to do a soccer ball or something sometime soon. And hi, Camilla. Hi, Meadow and Esme. If any of you would like your children's name um, mentioned, I would love to do that. Just drop it in the comments. And then we can include a special name with this. So this dinosaur, the first idea to do is to take, I think I'll take this flat one because it's a little bigger and we'll use more space. So I'm going to dip in the water. And you remember, you don't need a lot. And I think I'm going to make him a brownish. And this is a perfect brown. It's got some colors in it, and that'll make it kind of interesting. So I put a little water just to get it going, and I'm just going to paint his whole body brown. Now, if I wanted to paint his whole body blue or any other color, that would be fine, too. It's your painting. You can do what you want. So I'm just going to paint him brown. And you know, as watercolor dries, sometimes it'll leave little marks on the paper and that's okay. It kind of sometimes looks cool that way. And I went a little bit outside the lines and that's okay too. We're having fun, we're not being picky. But if you do have lines that are kind of like outside, just kind of blend them in a little bit if you want. I'm making his whole body up to his big toes. And this drawing that we're painting, the dinosaur has big old toenails. Do you see that? So I'm doing this. 
I want to remind any adults watching, if you would be so kind to, sub to subscribe, then you'll see it pop up. And if you even want to, um, after you subscribe, you can have an option to um, click on the bell. And all that means is when you're on YouTube, then you'll get a little reminder. It won't bug you. It won't do too much. So there I go. I'm making this happy dinosaur. I'm smoothing it around. Let me show you from the side what I mean about smoothing it around. I'm pressing down flatter so I can kind of smooth it around in more places than one. If I was going straight up and down, it would only cover a little thin section. Now, sometimes I do have to go up and down. And when I do, because it's a smaller place like right here, then that's just what I do. I just twist my brush around and I'm putting it around. So the first thing we're doing is painting the whole dinosaur. And then we're going to let him dry. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in some pretend Easter eggs. Okay. So um, you have to bring a pencil if you, if you want. I forgot to tell you that at the beginning. But if you have any kind of pencil, this is a mechanical pencil, and that's what I keep handy. But honestly, any pencil will do just fine. So I'm going to put an Easter egg back here. Do you remember how to color Easter eggs? They're oval shaped. Sometimes you can make them even round, but if they're oval shape, that's kind of a good shape for an Easter egg. And you can make it big or small. So I'm going to do a couple eggs behind the flowers, and then I'm probably gonna do one in front, and I might do one more and one more. Why not? So I have one, two, three, four, five Easter eggs. Remember, I was going to turn, it, turn them into an Easter dinosaur. So first I made Easter eggs. Some are behind the flower. And if you want, you could put it over the whole flower and maybe just erase the parts over the flower itself a little bit if you want. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, paint the flowers and the Easter eggs. So I'm going to go to my smaller brush. Remember this one? This is a watercolor brush made for children, and it works pretty good. I think I'm going to make pretend I'm going to pretend these are daisies. So I'm going to make them yellow in the center. And I might leave them white in the petals just to keep them looking kind of daisy-ish. If you want to make them any colors, you can be sure that you can do that. If you're painting along with me, you can finish your painting when we're done. Or you can even take a break and finish it in a couple hours or in a day or two. It's up to you. So I'm going to do my first Easter egg. I'm going to do it kind of like baby colors, which are green and yellow and pink and light blue. So here's my first Easter egg. And this egg's gonna be pink. And I'm using a little smaller brush so I can get in the little details. And I didn't do it perfect, but I did it good enough, right? Now I'm gonna go and do a light green. I'm thinking of baby colors because to me, Easter time, it really almost looks like yellow, doesn't it? Easter time colors and spring colors look a lot like baby colors, like green and pink and peach and all those good colors. Now I'm gonna do kind of an aqua. Now you may not have these same colors. And so you just pick whatever you have because the cool thing is, that Easter eggs come in all kinds of colors, don't they? Now I'm going to go to purple. 
an Easter dinosaur. Woo woo. And do a little bit more purple, make it a little brighter. Sometimes it's fun to paint over it. Have you uh, made charts of all your colors? What I mean by that is you go to paper and you just draw all the colors and you can get a small paper like this. You can go to colors and go just like, if this is your coloring, maybe you have a different painting set. But if, the, if this is the colors on your paint set, for example, I'm gonna go down and rinse in between. And I'm gonna put the colors right in a row. And you don't have to do it this fast. I'm just doing it fast so that I can show you in case you wanna do it another time. And you go right down. And sometimes colors look a little different when you paint with them. So it's kind of fun to do all the colors. There's black and purple. Do you like purple? I do. And red. I got a rinse in between. I think this used to be white. So now it's a light violet and that's fine because white wouldn't show up anyway, would it? Because it's white paper. And there's a yellow. And the last one is kind of a brownish rusty color. So now, uh, and that's not a color, that's a mixing little well. But now if I keep this, whenever I let it dry, and I pack my paints away, then I can put these on them when it dries and it will remind me what every color looks like when it's wetter. And that's kind of fun. So I'm looking at all my Easter eggs and I'm deciding which color. I already have a greenish yellow. I have a purple. I have an aqua. I have a pink. And I guess I'll make this um, blue. So let me go to the blue. I guess I'm painting with the smaller one. I'll stick with that. So now they're all different colors, right? Now, if I wanted to, I could paint a little bit of, he's supposed to be standing in a puddle. Um, what I might do is um I'm looking for green and I don't see green shoot do you do you know how to make um any kind of greenish look is I could take some aqua and mix it a little bit I'll do it right here I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow and you know how aqua is a shade of blue, right? If you've got another shade, then you could use that. So I'm gonna do yellow. And if you don't have a little spot to mix, you can just put it on this paper and make a little puddle there. So we're gonna try aqua first because I want a light, a light green. And I guess that's kind of a good green. Maybe the blue would be even better. But I'm going to put the green, so yellow and blue make green, depending on which yellow and which blue. So I'm going to just put a couple little petals around. There we go. Sorry, I was painting outside where you could see. And I might even make up a couple petals if I want to. So there we go, I added some green and maybe I'll pretend he's standing in the green too. And then I almost forgot his toenails. So I think I'm gonna make those black right here. So I'm gonna give him a pedicure. Do you know what pedicure is? That's when people get their toenails painted with nail polish. A lot of times in the summertime, when people wear sandals, they do that. So there's the black toenails, and there's a green bush right there, 
and a little green on the bottom. And I might take this and, you know, colors are lighter if you add a little bit more water. So I'm making it like he's standing a little bit in a puddle just for fun. Okay, are you ready to make him an Easter dinosaur? So I'm going to pretend that he has a paintbrush in his mouth. So I'm going to use black for the paintbrush. And I'm going to go just like this. Like he has been painting. And it looks like he has a little cigar or something, doesn't it? But that's a paintbrush. And now I'm going to take a little bit of brown and kind of try to make it look like he has brush bristles. You with me so far? Then I'm going to go through each of the colors of the five eggs and put that on the brush dripping. And I'm going to put it on the dinosaur like he's been making a mess because dinosaurs are not the neatest. So I'm going to go to pink first because that's the first egg we did. And I'm going to pretend it's all coming off his brush. There's a big old drip. You like that? And then I'm going to put pink on his nose. Maybe he sniffed it. What do you think? And then I'm going to add pink on his tail and pink on his leg. Try not to go to the very darkest parts so that the pink will stand out. And pink's a light color. Now I'm going to pretend he has some by his neck on his back. And maybe one more place on his neck. So see, doesn't he look like he's kind of been in a mess painting Easter eggs? Now I'm going to go to the yellow. I'm going to go to the lime, yeah, kind of the lime green yellow. This one. And I'm going to do some color on his brush. Hope you can see that even though it's wet. And I might make it look like he's got more coming off his brush. And I might have some splatter on the flower here. Messy. Can't have it look too pretty because we want it to look like he's a clumsy, big old lovable dinosaur, right? So I'm going to put some like that. And next is aqua. Aqua is kind of like a greenish blue. It's a pretty color. Now I'm going to be messy on one more flower. And I'm going to be messy coming off his brush onto his tail. And I might have a little bit on his brush. And I might have some by his eye and down his neck. What do you think? Does he look like he's a messy dinosaur? And here's on his chest. Gonna make it a little bit darker there. And his knee, do dinosaurs have knees? We'll pretend they do. So there he is. He's been busy. This little guy's been very busy. Now I'm gonna go to purple. And for the purple, we're gonna pretend it's dripping down. So what I'm doing to pretend it's dripping is I'm making drops. I'm making skinny, press down and make a big messy drop, okay? That's how I'm making it. Kind of like raindrops. Have you ever painted or colored raindrops? So that's how I'm making his paint drops. He's so messy. I'm sure you're being much cleaner than he is, but he's clumsy. And so he doesn't know what he's doing. Plus he's a dinosaur. How much can dinosaurs expect to know about painting, right? So I'm putting some flowers, putting some on the um, ground, more purple. 
dripping off the sky all the way down. Maybe it even went on an Easter egg right here. That would be funny. And maybe I'll have down his neck here. I'm going to get some more because it's on something brown. And so I don't want it to get lost with the brown color. And again, he was sniffing it. And he's got some on his tail and back. And we have one more color. What is that? It's blue. So we're going to go to the blue egg. Why are we choosing the colors of the eggs? Because he painted them. So that's why they're all over him. So I'm going to go to the blue. And I'm going to make flowers have paint on them. And maybe an egg's all messy. I'm going to go more blue and have some more drops coming off. But he's been a messy guy. Okay. And then I'm going to go here by his chest and his back leg knuckles and by his upper leg. And I think he is plenty messy. What do you think? I think I'll make that blue a little brighter. When I want to make it brighter, what do you think I do? I go back in the paint some more and I don't add more water. I just go into whatever's there and that's going to be thicker. If I do blue with hardly any water, that's going to be a brighter color. And if I add more water, it's going to be lighter. And if I add tons of water, then it's really light. So it's one color right here on your chart that you made or that's in there. It's one color, but it can be really dark. And here I'm doing a second layer. It can be really dark. It can be medium. I think I'll make medium a tiny bit darker. There you go. So fully the same color, but less water, medium water, and light water. And this looks like it's trying to be on the grayish side just because it's so light and I have a black under it. So I'm going to put it over white paper because so otherwise it looks more gray over the black than I'm using. Do you paint on something? You can either paint on something that can be wiped away or you can um, see if anybody's got a plastic tray um, this is a plastic cutting board, whatever you want, or, or a plastic tablecloth that nobody cares if you mess up a little bit. It's kind of a nice way to keep things straight. So today we talked about adding more water or less water, the shape of a drop, the shape of an egg. We talked about making color charts, right? And whatever colors you have, I don't even remember where this one came from. Uh, knowing me, I probably ordered this for Meadow, who's my four-year-old uh, granddaughter. I probably ordered this um, from Amazon for her. But you can look around. Any watercolor is fine. Any child's watercolor is fine. And I use different watercolor when I became an adult. And that's more expensive. But for children's watercolor, you should just be playing with it and not worrying about if it's too much money, right? So any kind. Sometimes you'll get a coloring book that's a painting book, and it will have paints that come right with it. And those work great, too. So here's what we did today. We did a messy Easter dinosaur. And the dinosaur has paint all over him because he's been so messy. Here's the side view. Hold it up that way. And then you can see it different ways. And don't forget, you can either do a dinosaur like I did, or if you want, you could do something else. You could do any animal would be an Easter animal 
if you add eggs and have it look like they were messy painting in it. So it's kind of a fun little joke. And I think you'll have fun with it. If you want to do some more with it, with colors, uh, color crayons or anything else, that's fun too, right? All right. I hope to see you again soon. Don't forget, give me names so I can mention you. And any questions from parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, or friends, let me know. Just post them, okay? Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.